Hello folks, Dave here with the Twin Home Experts. When it comes to your rain leak detection in Santa Monica, we're gonna go ahead and give you some helpful tips and tricks that you can do to locate those rain leaks causing water damage into your home. So let's get right to it. As you can see, we're We've prepped everything. The customer was stating that a lot of water was coming through this register right here. So some of the prep work that it entails is um, removing the register. And uh, we're gonna create a funnel to prevent any water damage on this expensive wallpaper, bedding, wood floors. All right, so you could see that uh, after a week of no rain, the drywall in the ceiling is still wet. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is open up this ceiling here and two things will happen. We'll utilize this hole to properly dry out the uh, substructure. Number two, it's gonna help us identify the leak when we're running our hydrostatic water test uh, above this uh, affected area. All right, folks, so now that we've opened up the ceiling, what we like doing is uh, before we run our water test, as I stated previously, we build a little funnel. So if we do get water pouring out of this area, it will protect water from spreading out, affecting contents, wallpaper. And then what we'll do is we'll terminate it into our large vacuum container. The other option is you can also, if it's close to an exterior door, discharge this to the outside. All right, as you can see here, before we run our water, I'm a big believer of starting at the lowest point. But uh, because of French doors here, what we've done is we've sealed off any possible water to get into this seal plate here, um, misguiding us with the leak detection. So what we're gonna do is really focus on this seal joint right here, as well as the tile and this, this drain right here. So the first step we're going to do is, uh, as we're continuing our prep, we're just going to run water down the drain for a while. Again, we're going to mimic the rain for a good 15 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to create a dam. And uh, once we rule that the drain is not leaking, we'll go ahead and uh, create a dam here and do a hydrostatic water pressure test of this area here to see if there's any waterproofing that's bleached in this area. And then we'll go ahead and continue working our way up to the doorway. All right, let's go downstairs now and see if we're getting any water coming out of that uh, ceiling here. All right, so, so far we're looking good one. Yes. All right, so, so far the drain seems to be in good shape. It's flowing properly. We're gonna go ahead and uh, let another 10 minutes go by to confirm and verify. And then we'll move to a, the next step of the rain leak detection. All right, so utilizing our high pressure tip. We're gonna go ahead and go around the drain now. Now that we've uh, confirmed that the drain is not the cause, we'll go ahead and use our other tip. And then uh, 
really just get inside all the cracks and the outlines of the tile with our barrier here. We do have uh, a drippy coming. You can see it's funneling down this tube. This whole area here is the cause of all that water damage down below. You can see that, uh, again, applied the wrong caulking. It's not doing a good job with sealing. So we're gonna go ahead now and set up our dehumidifier downstairs and start drying out the structure so we don't get any mold or bacteria. So I'll just show you what that looks like, but that concludes the finding of the leak here. All right, folks, well, this is uh, three days later. As you can see, we pumped heat inside the wet area and we're completely dry. So that's a, another helpful tip here. All right, folks, well, hopefully this helped give you some uh, tips and tricks when it comes to your rain leak detection. As always, thanks for watching.